let's move your photos to iCloud storage. Now, if your phone is running out of space, a great option is to dump a lot of those onto your iCloud storage, and then you'll always be able to get them if you need them. So to do that, let's head into our settings and tap on our name at the very top, and then we will tap on iCloud. Now from here, you can see at the very top, you want to make sure that you have enough space to be able to store all of those photos. So if you're running out of space, you might want to consider upgrading your iCloud by just tapping on that manage account storage. But if you do have enough space, let's tap on photos here and you can see sync this iPhone is turned on. So if it's turned off, make sure you toggle that on and it will upload all of the photos from your iPhone up to the iCloud. Now keep in mind, I have 77 gigabytes here. If I want to download and keep originals or I optimize iPhone storage, I can top, toggle one or other of those. What that does is optimize iPhone storage keeps most of the data on the iCloud and it'll just keep really small thumbnails on your phone that you'll be able to download if you want to use them, share them, whatever. However, if you tap download and keep originals, it'll keep the full resolution copies on your phone. The iCloud will just be a backup of all of those. So choose what you want to do, either optimize iPhone storage or download and keep originals. And then at the very bottom, you can see shared albums. If you want your shared albums to be backed up into the iCloud as well, you can toggle that one on as well. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time today and I'll see you on the next one.